All right. Well, welcome everyone. Let me turn the music off. <laughs> that might be a good idea. Although we do love Justin Bieber on this team. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to our our webinar tonight. We're talking about coaching. We're sharing some stories about what it is that we do. Um, I really want you to kind of listen to some of the stories of other people on this team, some who you know because they probably invited you to be here, and others who you might not know. But really try to see yourself and picture yourself on this team and find someone who you can kind of identify with as we go through all of the amazing people who are on our team. So let me show you a little slideshow. All right. So I'll start by introducing myself, which I probably should have done by now. Um, my name is Carolyn, and I'm a three-star diamond premier coach. I'm the founder and CEO of Team Sweat Your Heart Out, um, Success Club 10 All-Star, and all of that probably doesn't mean anything to you, so that's cool. It's fine. Uh, you'll learn what all of that means. Just, just know that it means our team's awesome, and we're a pretty successful team. We work hard every day to help other people, and we always put the like the health of other people first like that's our main mission we're not here to make a quick buck it's really all about having a heart and really putting all of your effort in to help other people and i can honestly say that everyone on this team really has just the greatest heart so that's why we're team sweat your heart out <laughs> and for a little in a little uh in a nutshell so a little bit about me, I'm 20, actually 24, I just <laughs> just turned 24, didn't have a chance to update the slideshow. Um, I'm a third degree black belt in Taekwondo, I'm a size live instructor, so that's why you see me doing crazy dances all the time on Facebook. I've been with my boyfriend for over a year now, no kids, just, just for babies at the moment, and I'm okay with that. Um, elementary education and English major and ESL I pretty much went and got everything I possibly could get and then I dropped out of grad school so, <laughs> and I'll tell you a little bit about that later but yeah I'm a grad school dropout so if you're listening to this call and you are in the same boat as me or you're in school or maybe you didn't even go to college that's that's fine because you don't have to go to college to do what we do um, I'm a full-time health and fitness coach right now. I wasn't always. I used to be a teacher. I taught kindergarten for a year. Loved it. Loved the kids. It was just, that's what I went to school for. Always thought I'd be a teacher. Never thought I'd be doing this. But I really can't complain about what it is that I do. I love what I do. I wake up every morning excited to do what I do. And I get to talk to and surround myself with all these incredible people that you'll learn a little bit more about. But yeah, it was just something that I was always kind of led towards. I always thought it was what I was meant to do. But as I found out, just because you're really good at something doesn't mean that's what you're meant to do. So fitness was a passion of mine. I had a poor body image and was a really bad yo-yo dieter in college. So I kind of picked up fitness in a uh, like a bad habit at first. I would just work out excessively and it became something that was – kind of detrimental. That's all I would do. I would just work out and and just not eat and do all the things that are wrong that you shouldn't do. And it didn't help me at all. Um, I kind of got trapped in the whole uh, either not eating or just going out on the weekends and drinking instead of eating and all of that bad stuff. So that's why I gained the freshman 13 and a half, which led me to uh, beach body because I needed to change. I did not recognize the person who I was on the outside and that was affecting the way I thought about myself on the inside and that was not a good thing. So I started with a program. I stuck to it for the first time ever in my life because of the amazing community that's there to support you when you do something like this. And then I realized that I didn't like my job so much and that I really enjoyed this some more. So in 10 months, I was able to leave my job as a teacher and work Beachbody full time. And since Ju June or July of 2015, I've been a full time coach, health and fitness coach, working from home in my robe and my pajamas and <laughs> just loving life. So don't think that your story has to be exactly the same as mine. I always want to make that um, that distinction. Like 
I'm not telling you you have to drop out of school and quit your job and be a coach, but I'm just letting you know that if down the road that's something you would like to do full time, that it is possible. So there are plenty of coaches on our team who do work full time. They have jobs, they have kids, they have families, and they do have other commitments. So while you might identify with me, you might identify more with one of them. So I just wanted to let you know I'm not telling you you got to drop out of school and quit your job to be a coach. But if it's the chance comes where you are ready to do that, then that's, that is on you. So I'm just telling you. Um, and I also was very, very reliant on the scale. That was something that I struggled with a lot too. I would always base my self-worth on that. I'd weigh that myself on that damn thing 15 times a day. And if it was like even 0.2 more than what I thought it, of what I wanted it to be, I would just have the worst day and I, then I wouldn't go out. And it, I just, I just really based a lot of what I thought about myself on that stupid scale. So now I don't even weigh myself. And that's something that I'm so proud of. I don't even care what the heck it says. And the only time I ever do is if I have to do like a program and I just want to see for myself, but whatever it is, I don't even care anymore. So that's something that coaching has done for me. And I also earn more now from home than I did with a full-time job and a college degree driving two hours a day to go to work, taking three grad classes every night, um, putting 100 miles a day on my car, <laughs> getting money to put gas in my car to go back to work again the next day. So that was that was pretty awful. <laughs> so, um, it's just, it's not, it wasn't, it just didn't make sense for me to stay there. So the only reason why that I had, I did leave was because my income with this was surpassing what I was making with the job that I had a degree in. So, and these are just some pictures of me. As you can see, I told you I gained the freshman 13 and a half. You can see that down in the bottom corner there. Um, and then we have some fur babies. That's my dog Smokey in the middle, drinking strawberry shakeology off my finger and Wilma on the left, <laughs> she's a puggle. And then my boyfriend, James, who is super supportive. He's also a coach on our team, and he's just like my biggest support system. And I'm just so grateful that we have something that we can do together, which is so much fun. Okay, so now you're probably feeling a few of these things, and that's totally okay, because I felt a lot of these things too when I was first approached with this. So number one, I knew nothing about Beachbody coaching. I honestly didn't even know that Beachbody was something you could do. Like, I thought it was just a company and like I bought this program from them and I'm gonna do it and I didn't realize that I could be a part of it and pay it forward and help other people. Um, it's not a traditional career path at all. Like nobody grows up and you don't ask someone who's like five years old or eight years old, what do you want to do when you grow up? Nobody says, I want to be a beach body coach. Like, yeah, that's what I want to do with my life. So it definitely is not conventional, but that doesn't make it a poor choice for you. I mean, I went to school, I graduated four years, went to grad school, thousands of dollars spent on my education and I dropped out and now, now I do this. And it was, I faced some uh, hesitation from like in my own self. I'm like, I don't know, my parents are going to be pissed. But, and they were not happy about it at first, but they've just seen how happy it's made me. And that is worth more than, I don't even know how much they spent on my education. But yeah, we're, we're paying the loans now with with Beachbody money, so yay. <laughs> um, also too, you have to pay an upfront cost to sign up as a coach, but just as like you were signing up or opening any kind of business, it's gonna cost like a little bit to put out, and the small cost that it costs you to pay to start this business is nothing compared to what it would cost you to go out and start your own business brick and mortar from the ground up. But I was broke as a joke because I was in college, so that was something that I wasn't sure about. Um, oh my God, this is not a pyramid scheme, just in case you were thinking that. <laughs> I know I was. I, you see all these things on the computer and Facebook, and you hear all these things, but honestly, if this were a pyramid scheme, I wouldn't be here talking to you about this, and we'd be in a lot of trouble. So the pyramid schemes are illegal, and we have a A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, so that you can look up, and it's not. 
Um, <laughs> also, I didn't have time. I, like I said, I had a full-time job. I had three grad classes every single night. I had a two hour commute back and forth from work. And I was like, when am I going to find time to do this? Like, I don't know if I can even fathom even doing anything else other than what I'm doing already. I'm already pressed for time. Like I don't have time for it. But apparently I did because I'm sitting here today talking to you. So it's possible. I wasn't fit enough. Uh, that picture you saw was when I started coaching. <laughs> like, so when I started coaching, I did not, I was not as healthy as I am now. I mean, I don't have a six pack now and I didn't have one then. So you don't need a six pack to be a coach just in case you were thinking that. But you, there's no specific look for a coach. The best thing that you can be is yourself because what's going to happen is people who are out there who are just like you, you know, like the real people, not the Photoshopped ones, they're going to see you and they're going to relate to you and they will approach you because you're approachable because you're like them and you're not Photoshopped and have fake abs and perfect everything all the time. So yeah, you don't need to be fit to be a coach. Um, I didn't know anything about fitness or nutrition. I mean, I took a nutrition science class, so I guess that kind of counts, but I didn't really know anything other than like, okay, you probably shouldn't eat a whole pizza a day and 12 donuts is not a good idea. <laughs> like that's about all that I knew about nutrition, even though I took that class. So you don't need to know anything about that. I didn't know a lot of people. I'm from a really tiny town. Uh, Little Lake Harbor is small, Tuckerton's tiny. So girl, I went to high school, we had maybe 200 people in my graduating class, which isn't a lot compared to a lot of other schools. And we were a regional school, so it wasn't even my town alone. It was like four other towns in one school and we only had like 200 people. So you don't need to know a lot of people to be a coach. The top coach in the company is from the tiniest town in Pennsylvania and it doesn't matter because she does all of her work online. So. That's mostly where you'll find people that you relate to online. I can tell you probably 80% of the people who are on our team are people I did not know before doing Beachbody. So that's an awesome thing because the people who I did know probably weren't my tribe. And that could be why um, I didn't have a lot of people that I talked to or hung out with in school because they weren't like me and we weren't we weren't likable like we were not uh, similar. We didn't have similar interests. So um, you don't need to know a ton of people and you do not need to be a salesperson. So get that out of your head already. I can't sell shoes to a homeless person and I'm successful at this. So if you think you need to know how to sell things, you don't. We don't really focus on selling things. We focus more on building relationships with people and talking to them, getting to know them, finding out what it is that they need, f figuring out that need, and then offering them a solution to that need by either helping them reach their health and fitness goals or whatever it is in whether they want to be on our team or maybe they want to be in one of our challenge groups. But either way, sorry, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, you do not have to be a salesperson. So yes. Okay, so some things I love about coaching. First off, friends that become family. Now, like I said, a lot of these people, actually all but one of these people on this board, I did not know before I became a coach. All of these people have, I've either met through social media, through friends of friends, mostly social media, and they have become my best friends, my, my family. Uh, we go on these fun trips together, and we get to hang out together. I'm actually finally going to get to meet Emmy in a, a couple of weeks. I'm so excited. Um, but, yeah, so we have a lot of events that we go to, and I honestly didn't have a lot of friends in high school. I'm not going to lie to you. I wasn't the most popular person. I was kind of a nerd. I was in school to learn, and I was interested in learning as much as I could, and that's not cool. Apparently when you're in high school, that labels you as a nerd. So yeah, I didn't have a lot of friends, but being a part of this community, I've been able to make friends who are not just acquaintances or classmates, but they're actually friends and they actually give a shit about me. And we all care about each other. Like if anything were to ever happen to any of these girls, or if I heard anyone was saying something about one of these girls like heck yeah I'd stick up for them because it's like my family 
So all of every single person on this board that you see here is part of our team. They're part of our tribe and we have connected through social media and it's just been, I've been a coach for about a year and a half and I can't even begin to explain how, and how, like, I don't, I haven't known these, I've known people longer than I've known these people you see here, but that doesn't mean that they're less of a friend to me because I feel like all these people that you see, all these beautiful faces up on this board are more of a friend to me than people that I have known my entire life. So you really do find that, that tribe that really, you really belong with from being a coach. And if you're someone who's looking for that, and maybe you don't have a support system at home, or maybe you didn't have a lot of friends in high school, or maybe you really don't hang out with people that often, like I didn't, like I really didn't have a lot of friends. Being a part of a team, you're always going to have someone to talk to when you have something going on. You're always going to have that friend to lean on. So that's just one of the things that I absolutely adore about our team, how we're all so friendly with everyone. Okay, so the other thing that I love about coaching is the freedom that the job provides. Well, I can't even call it a job because I don't feel like it's a job at all. But the freedom that coaching provides to me and our team, new experiences and more time to spend with my family. So some of these photos you see here, this was like all within a year's time, except for like maybe the one where my hair was red. I don't remember the last time my hair was red. Um, <laughs> but I have done so many things with these girls in the past couple months. Like that's me jumping off of a cliff in Hawaii last month, uh, the beginning of this month, actually. It was so, feels like forever ago, but it was like a couple weeks ago. We all went down for a diamond retreat with our team. Our, my coach took us, and we jumped off a cliff and that was freaking awesome. Like if you told me I was going to jump off a cliff, actually she didn't tell us. She just took us and was like, we're jumping. <laughs> so we didn't really have a choice, but it was an awesome experience. And that's something that I never would have been able to do or even thought of doing or would have had the balls to do if I wasn't a coach. And I've done so many other things that it's just like, is this real life? Like we went scuba diving or free diving with sea turtles and swam with dolphins. And I even was able to, I'm able, like I'm able to take off and like do these things. That's what's the coolest part. Like my old job, if I wanted time off, I had to either say I was sick, which I did a few times, or like put in like a really early in advance. I wouldn't be able to like, okay, you know what? I'm going to Cancun. All right. You know, do you want to go to Hawaii tomorrow? Yeah. Like, let's go. I mean, it wasn't that short notice, but, but still the fact that I don't have to worry about calling out of work or worry about missing work or worry about not getting paid the week that I was away in Hawaii, I made more than I made when I was home the week before. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> you're able to, to do these things. You have that freedom. You're able to travel. You're able to experience things. Do you have a list of things you wanna do? Do you have a bucket list? I hope so, because if you decide that you wanna be a coach, you can start checking things off that bucket list quicker than you can say, okie dokie, whatever. I don't even know, but I don't even know where that came from. But you really, you really get to do some freaking awesome stuff as a coach. And it's not like you become a coach and then you just automatically get to do these things. But if you put the time in and you really make this something that you are dedicated to and you do it when you don't want to do it, you will be rewarded with just amazing experiences. And then as far as um, family time, I've been able to be home for special events. That's a party that I was able to go to over the summer because I was a coach over the summer and not working my ass off as a slave at a restaurant. And you think like, oh, just it's a restaurant. Like how bad could it be? I literally worked every single day in the summer. And that was the first thing that I said, if I'm going to be a coach, I am not working that summer job. And you bet your butt that summer that I was coaching, I did not work that summer job. I made enough money coaching that I didn't have to work that summer job because that's how 
annoying it was that I didn't have a chance to do anything. My family would go to parties and I would have to be working and I would miss everything and it pissed me off so much that I wasn't able to be around my family and do these things. And I was even able to be home when my sister went to prom. Like that's things that you don't want to miss. Those are experiences that you can't get back. So being able to actually be home for that is, is awesome. And you, I have like photos and memories and it's just, it's just something that I honestly can't even um, explain it. So I'm just going to keep moving on to the next slide because I love it so much. Um, <laughs> okay, so the other thing that I love about coaching is being able to share the experience. So I know that I'm talking to you and like, yeah, I was just in Hawaii and those, like I was talking about my family and all that stuff. But the best part about being able to go to those places and do those things is you get to share that experience with your team. Like I didn't just go to Hawaii by myself. Like that would be really boring. We went with a team. <laughs> like we all went together and I didn't just go to Nashville alone. Like why would I do that? That's so boring. So we all go together. We do these things together. We get to share the experience with our families. Um, I, in November, myself and my boyfriend went down to visit my coach and when she lived in Delray and we went to um, this really cool acai bowl place and he had his first acai bowl and we got to share that experience together and in the other, the bottom corner, we go to these events called Super Saturday where they're local events and you get to hang out with all the Beachbody coaches in your uh, community or within an hour or two depending on or four hours if you're Emmy and you drive four hours to go to these events um, which is awesome I love that dedication right there but you're able to just share these experiences with your friends and we also go to Nashville in the summer so that is for the Beachbody Summit and that's where the bottom picture where it says coach summit with all of us there and the top with uh, myself and Carolyn, who I'll talk about. There's another Carolyn, it's like double trouble. Um, we went last summer and had a blast. So it's, and it wasn't just the two of us. We had like our whole team there and we were part of a larger team. So there's always people that you can connect with, people you can talk to, and you just get to do everything together. And it just makes life more fun being a part of a team. Like you always have someone to do stuff with. There's always something going on. There's always a trip or an event or something going on. So just being able to share that with other people is truly, just truly unbelievable. A few other things that I love about coaching. So I know I told you I went to school to be a teacher. And I don't know if you know this, but when you go to school to be a teacher, that's something that's like intrinsically in you. Like you don't just forget about it. And I always wanted to be a teacher. And that is something that I still hold near and dear to my heart. And I really take that passion for teaching and I put that out to our team. So I, I do still teach, but I don't teach kindergartners. <laughs> I teach our team how to build a business, how to use social media to attract their tribe, how to talk to people, how to, um, like just how to how to build a business like that's what I do so I get to see all of the coaches on our team have success and that if you don't know how that feels that feels better than anything I can even any feeling in the world nothing beats seeing your own coaches and your team having success and being excited about what they do and being like oh my god I just I talked to this girl and she's so excited. Like signing up your first coach is such an exciting experience and just being a part of our team. And we celebrate everything that happens. Like, oh, yay. Like, I just, I signed up with my first coach and everyone's just so like, um, I don't know. We all just love when everyone does well. So that's something that is really near and dear to my heart. Seeing everyone on our team have success. Being my own boss is pretty cool too. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to report to anybody but myself. Um, today, I actually just felt like leaving in the afternoon. My boyfriend wasn't having a really good day and I decided that I wanted to just go to his work and bring him a heart-shaped pizza and eat lunch with him. <laughs> and I was able to do that because I didn't have to say like, oh, hey, can I have off a couple hours so I can go hang out and eat lunch with him? Like I just 
I mean, I asked myself and I said I could, so I went. Um, and then just being able to share my story and help other people who may have been in the same situation as I have been in is just one of the most awesome things. Like turning that mess that I had in college into my message and sharing the shit that I went through and making that a solution for other people is just one of the most rewarding things. And having the chance to share my story live on stage in front of like 200 plus people. Now that was, that was an incredible rush. So I crack up because I get nervous to do these calls, but I talk to like 200 people live. So it doesn't make sense, but I do, I still get nervous. I'm a real person. Um, so don't ever think that you need to know everything. I always tell all of our coaches that I'm still learning. We're all learning together. It's not like I know everything and you, you don't know anything. Like there are some things I don't know and I Google them. So you don't need to be a know-it-all and I, I don't know everything either. So, and it worked like I'm still successful. Our team's still successful. So don't think that you need to know like everything because you won't know everything when you get started. It's a learning process. So let's talk about some facts that you're probably um, waiting to hear about. I know I touched upon a few of these in the beginning. As a coach, you're just here to inspire, to encourage, motivate, and be that personal cheerleader for your friends. So if you can say like, hey girl, like you're doing awesome. That shake looks delicious. Like, oh, your meal. Oh my God, it looks so good. What did you put in there? Or Oh, you killed that workout. Look how sweaty you are. You look so good. You're glistening. Like, if you can just say that, and I don't think it's very hard to say those things, then you'd be a great coach because that's what we do. We motivate people. We encourage people. We hold them accountable. We make sure that they're not eating pizza every day and then being upset that it's not working. Well, no, because you're eating pizza every day. Like, we, we are really – truly that person who's going to get there, get in their face and not be in a rude way, but like you wanted accountability. That's what we are. We're that accountability partner. So the way that we do that, we do that all online and we just have these really fun groups where everyone checks in daily with food photos and their workout selfies and videos and stuff like that. And it's really a way to hold everyone accountable. And ew, I don't know why I keep burping. I do this every time I do a call. Um, yeah, so we just, we have those groups. They're a lot of fun. You get to win prizes. And it's just, honestly, it's been the only thing that has helped me stay on track and not backtrack and gain that 13 or 14 and a half back that I had gained in college. So as a coach, it's not only um, helping other people but you're helping yourself you're getting paid to work on yourself and be the best version of you that you can be so i think that's pretty cool you don't have to be a fitness professional i already said that you don't have to be at your goal weight i know i mentioned that you can work it full time or part time that is your choice and i did touch upon that in the beginning so i don't want to uh, go too much more into that but just know like i said you do not have to be a full time coach or um, like from the very beginning or even at all. There are a lot of successful coaches who do this part-time. Uh, there's plenty of opportunities to travel, as you have seen. I've been to more places in this past year than I've ever been in my entire 24 years of my life. So if you like to travel, you like to experience new things, then coaching can provide you with those experiences. You don't have to keep an inventory. So what that means is you do not have to buy a crap ton of products and keep them at your house and then um, have like a stockpile where you're like trying to get rid of things because you have two closets full that are overflowing with stuff that you haven't gotten rid of yet. So Beachbody does all of that for you. You don't have to meet sales quotas. You don't have to handle shipping or you really don't have to do any of the crappy stuff about owning a business because the company covers that. Like they do all of that for you which is so awesome. I'm so grateful for that because I don't know if I'd be able to do this if I had to do all that stuff and drive around and deliver things. Like, no, ain't nobody got time for that kind of stuff. And then you also must want to help people. If you do not want to help people and you are here because you just want to make money fast, you can just stop watching the rest of this recording if you're watching the recording. Or if you're live, you can just go and sign off because it's not a way to get rich quick. 
And if you go in it with that mindset, you're not going to have success. And I can honestly say that I've, I've heard so many stories of people who think that this is something that they, they don't actually want to have, like want to have that desire to help people. They just want to make money and it doesn't work because people know that like they can sense that when you're talking to them. So if you, you really need to have a passion for helping other people. And I can honestly say our team, everyone on our team has that in their heart. So some of the things that we do as coaches to show that we really we're helping people and we like to recognize the people that we're helping and make them feel awesome. So one of those photos down there in the bottom, you actually see Lauren and Haley Goldstein. They were uh, participants in our challenge group and they were having incredible results. Like those photos were five days apart and they were already seeing results. So I made a nice little post for them. They were saying like, oh, my pants are falling off already. I feel awesome. And now they are both coaches on our team, which is so cool because they saw what the program has done for them. They believed in the products, they believed in the programs, and now they're paying it forward and helping other people. So that's something that is really cool. And it's just really nice to recognize people who are doing a good job. Just like, think about it. Like I said, you're that cheerleader. You're just putting people up there like, hey, you're doing awesome. Keep going. And then they can turn around and want to pay it forward and become a coach on our team. You also, if you have an obsession with Shanti or any of them, you're in the right place because you could potentially meet them and get pictures with them. <laughs> That's, I mean, I'm not trying to, um, to be like, oh, if you like Shanti, you totally should be a coach. But if you do, that's an added bonus. He's at the event. You get to hang out, and um, you can actually earn photo ops with them. The CEO is super chill. That's actually him in the picture with me, my coach, and another coach on our team just hanging out on the beach. There was a party in Cancun that we were at, and he was just talking to us, taking pictures. So he's a very, very chill guy. He really cares about all of us. He – like he puts a lot of himself into our company. He uses the products. He uses the programs. He puts, he literally pours himself out into this company. So we are so fortunate to work, to have like be a part of a company where the CEO is like doing hammer and chisel and like documenting it and drinking his Shakeology every day. And he's just doing the same things that we're doing. And that's so cool that he is like pretty much equal on the same level as all of us. And he does like to recognize you for your accomplishments. So that's just in the top something that was sent to me. I don't remember which month it was, but for being in the top percentage of the company um, for that month, he sent out like really cool gifts. It was a framed postcard from uh, Paris and then some Euro money. I think it was, that's what it's called, Euros. I don't know. <laughs> but it was pretty cool that they do those things for you. So the nitty gritty, I know this is why you're all here. Um, yeah, so as a coach, you will get a 25% discount on all of the products. So that's programs, that's um, the supplements, anything, Shakeology, workout clothes, whatever, you get a 25% discount on that. You also make a 25% commission from anything that is sold through your website. You can win money from your results. So how cool is that? I know that um, my coach in the bottom, she was in the P90X infomercial and she did win money for her transformation. We have my boyfriend on the bottom left. He did the three-day refresh and got asked to be like a testimonial for the program. And then we have Melissa on the other side who was asked to be in the infomercial for Pio. So you can have a chance to be in infomercials for upcoming programs and win money for just like working on yourself and being that positive role model for other people. You can get certified to teach classes. So if you want to teach insanity, you want to teach size and size it up and dance with me, you can do that. Uh, but you don't have to, just that option is available. You can earn team bonuses as well. So once you reach a certain point in your business, you do not only make money just from commissions, you also earn team cycle bonuses based on the volume of your team and how well your team's doing. So when your team is successful, everybody's successful, and then you get bonuses for helping your team have success. Also, if you're an active duty in the military or a military spouse, you can coach for free. So that means you do not have to pay the $15 monthly coach fee 
if you are in the military or if you're married to somebody who is. And then you can also quit at any time. So you're not signing this contract where you have to give us like your unborn baby or your firstborn to like, you're not locked into it. If you decide down the road that this is not for you, you can cancel it at any time. And there's no penalty for canceling. There's no cancellation fee. There's no set amount of time you need to be a coach before you can cancel. Like I said, CEO is pretty chill. So if it's not for you, then that's fine. You can just not do it anymore. And you can still be our friend and that's fine. <laughs> okay, so there are three options for you. And I'd like for you to kind of sit there and try to think about what is the best option for you as I go over them. So there, the first one is A, you can sign up as a coach and get started with our team. What we put into our team training, your coach will mentor you and give you all of the tools and resources that you need to be successful in this business. You can start as a discount member, which is somebody who loves Shakeology and wants to get the discount on all of the products. Or you can try a program first, get your results, and then become a coach um, afterwards. So that is the freshman 13 and a half for you. And <laughs> that is my before and after when I did my, my first program a couple of rounds, I think that was two or three rounds of 21 Day Fix. And then all of these pictures over here, this is pretty cool because um, these coaches started as challengers and they actually, one of them's on this call right now, they got amazing results and then decided, you know what? I think I wanna pay it forward and be a coach. And these ladies are killing it. Like they are just doing so freaking awesome and it's just really cool that they found that love for the programs and they really trusted and believed in them and they're able to pay it forward and help other people now because of that. So this month, let's say you want to be an A and you want to sign up as a coach right away and start your fitness journey, start sharing what you're doing and inspire others to get healthy and fit with you so that you can start building your business. There are two options this month. Well, there's actually, there's three, but there's two on the screen, but I'll tell you all of them. Uh, the first way that you can sign up is we need to figure out which kind of program is best for you to start. So the two programs that are on sale this month, we have the 21 day fix uh, challenge pack. That is a three week program, comes with these really awesome portion control containers. If you're somebody who really needs help with nutrition or figuring out like how many vegetable servings and how many servings of protein should I eat every day, then this is something that can really help you. You don't have to count calories. You don't have to weigh anything. The containers basically, if it fits in there, you can eat it. If not, then you need to save that for your next meal. And it's just really self-explanatory. It's kind of idiot proof. The workouts are all very different. So one day you do upper body, one day you're doing lower body. One day you're doing Pilates, there's plyo, yoga, like everything. So it's not something where you're going to do the same exact thing every day and get bored. And then the other part of that is Shakeology, which is the superfood shake that is a part of our programs. And the people who use our programs and use Shakeology together are the ones who get the best results. So as you sign up as a coach, it's important that you are doing a program and drinking Shakeology so that you can be that product of the product. And then you don't have to even think about trying to sell anything because yourself, oh, the heck, yourself, you are the product. <laughs> this happens every time. You are the product of the product and people see what you're doing and they're interested in what it is that you're doing. They see it's working for you. So that's why uh, it's important that you are using the products. The other challenge pack, um, well, actually, there is a 21 Day Fix Extreme, which is a slightly advanced version of this program. The meal plan is a little different. It's a little bit more strict. With the regular one, you can have wine and chocolate. The Extreme, you can't. Uh, the workouts are a little bit tougher. So if you're somebody who is already like into working out, you lift heavy weights all the time, you pick things up and put them down, then you might want to do the Extreme. Um, and then if you're somebody who's just getting started, honestly, the 21 day fix is a great option for you. And if you decide to start with that one, you can always do the extreme version after you finish the first one, because it's a great follow up for that. 
The other challenge pack that's on sale this month is the size challenge pack. So if you are somebody who likes to dance, you like to have a good time, you like to sweat, and you like music, then this is for you. It's so, so, so much fun. I've never taken a dance class in my life, but I can still do this. And it's because the way that it's uh, set up, he literally breaks down every single move for you. And by the end, you're covered in sweat. I just did it before I did this call, and I literally had to hop in the shower because I'm like, there's no way I can get on this call after I just did this. And my hair looked like just as wet as it does now, except it's clean now, I promise. But it's so, so much fun, and you really don't even feel like you're working out. But afterwards, you're like, holy crap, I need to like just lay down and relax now. So if you want to do something that you enjoy, you like dancing, then that's something that you might be interested in. The meal plan is the exact same meal plan as a 21-day fix. It's idiot-proof. The only thing is it does not come with the containers. So you can purchase the container separate, or your coach will help you figure out the measurements for your containers. There's a way that um, they can help you with that. But just know if you did want the containers, because they are very convenient and very helpful for like measuring things, that you can purchase them separately, and it won't put you put you over the over your limit. So. Those are the two challenge packs that include a fitness program this month. We also have the three-day refresh, which is a three-day vegan cleanse that really helps you reset your system. And um, if you maybe are looking for something now, maybe you just got back from vacation and you're feeling bloated, or maybe you're going on vacation and you want to kind of like just get ready for it, then that's something that could really work well for you. You get results in three days. I know I lost six pounds the last time I did it. My boyfriend lost seven. But honestly, I think the best way to sign up is with a program, in, unless you have one at home already, that is a Beachbody program. But just having that full package, having a fitness program, having the nutrition component will really help you be the best coach that you can be. So the other way, if you decided that you just wanted to get your Shakeology cheaper, maybe you're already drinking Shakeology and you love it and you can't live your life without it, then you can sign up to be a discount coach, which I'm going to be honest with you, that's the only reason why I signed up. So don't ever like discount yourself for wanting that. Uh, it could totally flip and it, if it doesn't have to, but it can. So all that you would be paying for your Shakeology as a discount coach is $97 instead of that $132 that you would pay as a customer, plus that $15 coach fee. So you're saving about $20 either way. Like, even if you're paying that $15 coach fee, you're still saving about $20 a month on your Shakeology. And then since you are technically a coach, if somebody asks you about Shakeology, you have a link that you can send to them, and you'll be able to make commission off of their order. So that's pretty cool, too. And then if you decided you wanted to try a product first, you can do what all of these people up here did. And yes, that's what I did. I tried the, I was actually like all three of those. I tried the product first, I got results, then I signed up to be a discount coach, and then I ended up working the business. So I was kind of an ABC. But all of these people up here, they tried the product, they got amazing results. We have Nikki Glavaki down there in the bottom. She did the three-day refresh and got awesome results. Now she's a coach on our team and she is helping so many people and just kicking butt. We have Alicia in the top right hand corner. She did the 21 day fix and lost 10 pounds in her first round, turned around and decided she wanted to be a coach and pay it forward. We have Corey in the top left and keep in mind, Corey started um, coaching not too long after that first photo. So that goes back to you have to look a certain way to be a coach. You really don't because people relate to who you are and your story and not the way that you look. Uh, and then Kelly in the middle, she did the 21 day fix and got awesome results and then decided that she wanted to be a coach as well. So now that you have heard all of the three different options that you can be, I would love for you, if you're watching this recording, to contact the coach who invited you to check out this video. And if you're live after the, we're done, then if you could reach out to that coach who invited you to be here so that you can go over any last questions you had and then talk about what you decided, whether you were an A, a B, or a C, and then we can move on from there.
But before you go, I want to highlight some coaches on our team because they are just awesome and our team would not be the same without them. So I got to move this little box over because I don't think you can see Carolyn's. Ah, crap. All right, maybe it's not going to let me. Okay, just kidding. Um, but Carolyn Walker is a diamond coach on our team. She's a success starter, so that just means that she helped three people consistently. Every like the first three months that she was a coach, she helped three people three months in a row and earned herself a free ticket to go to Nashville with our team. She's a Success Club Five All Star, which means that since she has been been a coach for a full year, she has helped at least three people every single month without missing a single month. And what's cool about Carolyn is she is also a full-time graphic designer and she's a coach. And this girl works her butt off. Like she does so many things. I don't know how she has time to even coach, but she does it. And she has had a huge transformation herself. And if you know Carolyn and you're on this call because Carolyn invited you to be here, you are in amazing hands. This girl honestly has so much heart and she is so dedicated to what she does as a coach. If you haven't heard her story yet, I suggest that you go ask her about it or check out her video on YouTube because, I, I mean, I can't even talk about it because it makes me cry every single time I listen to it. But Carolyn and I met at college because we had the same name and we kind of bonded over that little thing. And we had one class together, and that was that nutrition science class that I mentioned earlier. We did a project together and we never really hung out in college though because we were in different kind of like cliques and I was in a sorority and she she wasn't and it's just the way that college was but I'm so grateful and so thankful that we reconnected through Facebook and that I've been able to share this experience with Carolyn because it honestly this team would not be the same without her. She is just oh, I just love her. <laughs> she I love her. I love her. She's so helpful. She's awesome at running our challenge group. She's always there to like motivate people. She makes these really cool videos all the time that I'm like, girl, how the heck do you do have that stuff that you're doing? <laughs> like, She's just so cool. So if Carolyn invited you to be here, then it's awesome that you know her and she is going to help you have incredible success in this business. Like she runs marathons. She woke up, this is a funny story. She woke up at, I don't even know, probably two in the morning to be sitting is where she's sitting on that little mat in front of the stage because she wanted to be the first person there right in the front to see Sean T because she loves him. So she is dedicated to helping you and to, to this, to this coaching thing. So you are in great hands if Carolyn invited you here. Now my girl, Emmy, who I finally get to meet in the next two weeks, <laughs> Emmy and I met on Instagram as a lot of coaches and me have met. She's a diamond coach on our team. She's a fur mama and she's a full-time student, adjunct teacher, coach. She's got like 15 jobs, this girl, I feel like, <laughs> or maybe three, but she's just always doing something. And Emmy, uh, she has been a coach for a little, almost, almost a year, almost a full year. Yeah, wow. Oh my God, your one year anniversary is coming up. Ah, we got to celebrate when I see you. Okay, but anyway, so she, <laughs> sorry, I got excited. Emmy and I, we, like I said, we connected on Instagram. It's really funny, actually. I was teaching and I was on one of my 15 bathroom breaks that I took because I hated my job that much. And I saw her on Instagram and I was like, wow, she looks like she's really nice. Let me see if I can reach out to her and kind of get to know her some more. And Next thing you know, we're talking on the phone as I'm driving home from work, and then we're talking a couple more times because I had to talk to her a couple times before she decided she wanted to be a coach. But she is an, a rock star, this girl. She literally is going to pack up all of her belongings and move across the state, and she has that com – she's comfortable doing that because – well, I'm not sure. Are you comfortable? I mean, <laughs> you, she should be comfortable doing it because she is a rock star in this business. She has helped so many people get incredible results. Her team is just incredible. They're all, they're all like the same. <laughs> it's so funny how you really do attract your tribe through what you're doing. They're literally all clones of Emmy and <laughs> it's just so cool. But she is um she's like super close to getting a promotion too. I have to throw that out there. So 
Emmy is definitely a great leader. If Emmy invited you to this call, like I said, you're in great hands, just this as you would be with anybody on this team. But she has such a big heart, and she is just like that ball of light. She's always there when I need someone to talk to. <laughs> yeah, I love you, girl. <laughs> okay. And then we have Lauren. Oh, I wanted to change the picture on this one. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, Lauren and I met from Instagram as well. Lauren lives in California, but she's actually from New Jersey where I'm from. But I didn't meet her when she was in New Jersey. I met her when she was in California, which is kind of funny. But she is also a diamond coach. She had hit that diamond rank in record time. I think it took her maybe three or four months to do that, which is incredible. It's just really funny because every coach who is a part of our team just seems to hit those milestones faster and faster and faster. Like, I'm pretty sure all of them beat me to it. So that's really cool to see that. But she is also a success starter. So she will be going to Nashville with us this summer. She earned herself that trip. She's a dancer, an aerialist. She works at a gym and she's a coach. So this girl does a lot of things too. She's one of those people who can't sit still. She's always got to be doing something. So she still finds that time to work on her business. And it's just been really cool because I've actually got to hang out with Lauren like two times, once in New Jersey and then one time in California when we went out there to do some aerial work in the trees in a park. <laughs> like that's how, It's so much fun. It sounds like really ridiculous, but we literally just, climbed up a ladder, hung up some silks and liras and all these funky things and just had a great time. Our team all got together. We actually had this really cool like aerial hangout in the park. <laughs> so much fun. But Lauren is just, she's a goofball. She's like me. She's the same goofy person that I am. I mean, she has a bird on her head. <laughs> and I asked her, which picture should I use of you? And she tells me this one. So <laughs> that really tells you what kind of person <laughs> Lauren is. But she is so awesome. I love this girl to death. We we bonded uh, like instantly when we started talking. And it's just been really cool to see her have so much success. And then have seeing her coaches like duplicate that success that she is having. So like I said about Carolyn and Emmy, if you are friends with Lauren or Lauren invited you to this call, or even if one of Lauren's coaches invited you to this call, you're in amazing hands because this girl, she will do anything for her team. So you, you are not to be disappointed by Lauren. And I love, I love you guys. <laughs> so thank you for our, all of you guys who are here, who made it out. Thanks for joining us on our, and I hope that we see your beautiful faces again on our team calls where wine and sweatpants are encouraged. I mean, it's true. Like Wednesday, I have one glass of wine every week and it's on that Wednesday, my yellow container. I fit it in my meal plan every Wednesday. <laughs> but yeah, so we really hope that this was helpful. I hope you learned a lot about coaching and I hope that it has made your decision easier. So that is all that I had. I just wanted to make sure that there were no questions in the little chat box that I missed. No, we're good. Does anybody have a question? Is that Heather? Was that, is that what you said your name was? No? Is that Heather? Yeah, that's her name. Heather, did you have any questions? No? Okay. I just wanted to make sure because the little chat box, I like to check and make sure nobody said anything. Oh, it's frozen for you. Oh, poop. Uh, all right. Well, if you have any questions or if you missed anything, that's okay because I did record this. So Emmy will be able to send you the recording afterwards. But yeah, thanks for coming out here. I love talking to all of you guys and seeing your beautiful faces. And like I said, I hope to see you on our team. See you later, guys. Oh, yeah. And then contact the coach who invited you. Duh, I should have said that. <laughs> that's important. You need to reach out to them. Let them know what you've decided. So thanks again for joining us, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.